Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here, and one second. Hey, stay away from me. Rotom, what's going on? What's wrong? It was just a dream. Some weird old man was trying to take me apart. It was horrible. Egad. Alright, we got a Roto Lotto, but anyway. That's how that spin up. So, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Sun playthrough. As you just saw, there was a grinding montage because. In the last episode, we got our collective butts handed to us by the totem Pokemon atop Walla Volcano Park. So it is time for... What is this? More wild encounters, maybe? That's an amazing power! Yep, two Roto encounters. What does that do, Rotom? Roto encounter is a power that helps you run into high level wild Pokemon more often. Could use that during the grinding, actually. But anyways... We're back here at Top Wella Volcano Park. We got the team leveled up. I'll show you who we're working with and what levels they are currently at. We got them to level, or five levels above the wild Pokemon on the volcano, so... Don't quite know if that's going to be enough, but we're going to have to find out. First of all, we have Brawler, our, like, not, I keep saying Lycanroc. A Rock Ruff, which will eventually, hopefully, maybe, perhaps, possibly evolve into Dusk Form Lycanroc. As long as it doesn't get knocked out beforehand with the own tempo ability holding focus band. So level 24 is where I aim to get everyone to if they were below that. Bite, Fire Fang, Rock Tomb, and Happy Hour for the moves. Next we've got Turkey Hour, Psyduck at level uh, 24. Cloud 9 ability with Waterium Z as the held item. If I can get into a position this time around, yes, Unknown Spike, I am using that Z move. Count on that. Water Pulse, Confusion, Brick Break, and Disable. Next we have whack -a -Mall, level 24, our Alolan Diglett with Sand Veil ability, holding the Scope Lens. We got Bulldoze, Metal Claw, Sucker Punch, and Mud Slap. Next is Prayer, our Fomantis, level 24, with the uh, Leaf Guard ability. Item is Shell Bell, and Leaf Blade, Razor Leaf, Ingrain, and Growth for the moves. And last but not least, on the current active team, we got Robin Hoot, level 25, our Dartrix, with the Overgrow ability, holding Normalium Z, Razor Leaf, Pluck, Ominous Wind, and Foresight. Alright, so, you're noticing that there's not a 6th Pokemon member. I haven't really decided who to add just yet, and I was thinking, I want your guys' feedback on which Pokemon to add from the collection that we've got right now. I still gotta go back to Melee Melee Island and get uh, Counter at 10 Carat Hill, Seaward Cave as well, and I think there's a little watery section outside Seaward Cave that I can go pick up an encounter at also. So, I'm gonna go see if I can get as many encounters as possible before choosing who to add to the team. But, our first priority, of course, is this totem battle. So let's do what uh, Unknown Spike suggested. We're gonna lead with Turkey this time. I'm actually gonna go for the Z-move immediately. You know, this calls, like I said, I keep the Z-move for when it's absolutely necessary. We've already lost, so it's kinda necessary. Well, Chaz, looks like you have failed my trial. The totem Pokemon Marowak is a fire and ghost type Pokemon. It has many weaknesses. Water, rock, ground, dark, and even ghost type. The trial of Kiawe! You'll find that it is a bit different than the trials you'll face at this point. Of course, you'll attempt it. Yep. All right, so we know what's going to happen. We know you're going to take photo. Not, I keep saying photos. They didn't do the... Did they do the photos? Yeah, because they all had weird... Po oh, we're right here at the end of it, too. That's kind of cool. All right, so let's memorize the dance. Oh, uh, gee. Hmm, what's going to for the time around? Oh, yeah, look at that giant one. Okay. What was different? The big Pokemon. But how? And come, totem Pokemon. Hydro Vortex, right off the bat. Is my cursor on screen? Let's hope it is not. Alright. Yep, so your speed's gonna rise sharply, but you don't get to call for help until the end of the first turn. If you don't make it through that first turn, you ain't calling for no help, my friend. I don't care. We're 20, or 20 levels above. We're two levels above. If we were 20, this would nowhere be any threat. Well, I'm trying to say. Hydro Vortex. I can't roll an R there. Come on! Alright, alright. We're not giving up just yet. We are above level for this, so we might still have a decent chance. Look how mad Turkey is. He remembers what happened last time. He ain't putting up with that this time. You're getting drenched either way, Totem. That didn't do much. So let me try something different. Oh yeah, hi Salazzle, how's it going bud? Let's try this. Disable, whatever attack it goes for. If 
we can render it somewhat ineffective. So I'm looking in an okay spot. You're gonna hex me, ain't ya? I'm gonna brick break. Ow! Why so much damage, though? Alright, so you can't brick break me anymore, at least. I'm gonna have to full restore Turkey. Now, if we're in a position where I gotta keep healing, I'm just gonna admit the defeat once again. I'll go off, get different encounters, come back here during the live stream. Oh, yeah! I didn't explain this, but this episode's a little bit later than it was yesterday. Because I overslept, to be honest. So I'm getting this uploaded as you're seeing it. Around, I'm gonna say I'm gonna aim for about 5 and 5:30 p.m. Atlantic time to uh, do the live stream. I don't like this much damage. Do I really, really have to let someone fall again? I'm sorry, prayer. You're gonna take a hit. Anyway, I'm gonna aim for about five o'clock for the live stream to follow up on this one. You're probably gonna see another totem battle in that live stream. I can't believe what this game is doing. Why would it detect? All right. Why would it do turn one detect? It didn't do that last time. Much like Pokemon XD, this game is flat out cheating. I don't care what anyone says. It hardly used detect in the first encounter. This time around, I go for the Z-move and it detected. I don't think that's coincidence. It is not coincidence. If Rock Tomb the Marrow, I can slow it down. Why? At least it was an effective turn for everybody, though. Or ineffective, I should say. As effective for everybody as it was for me. Because I'm thinking what I have to do. Once Brawler does fall, although we did disable the Brick Brick, so Hex is going to take us out regardless whatever I'm talking about. But if it didn't, we would slow this thing down, and then... Oh, actually, we survived it. So... Brawl... Uh, not Brawler, uh... What's your name, little guy? Whack him off and come in, go for the bulldoze. Curse bodied me? Now, do... Oh, it's not disabled anymore. So do I spend time healing up? Not really, because... Sable's gone. I can't rock tomb. Hang on. Let's go with, uh... Tell you what, since we're about to lose Brawler, I'm gonna get Turkey healed up. Let's go with a Super Potion. Should be the trick. Yep. Alright, so Brawler has to take this hit now, unfortunately. But that should allow Whack em All to come in, and I think he might be quick enough to outspeed, because Totem Marowak is now slower than Salazzle. Now, I don't really know what the speed of Salazzle is like, but I know Lolan Diglett, or Diglett in general, is pretty quick. No, wait a minute. Didn't they say the Steel Tubby makes it slower? We're gonna find out. We are four levels above that Salazzle. Let's go for Bulldoze. We have the speed advantage. And Salazzle falls! Yes! And Marowak slows down, too. Ooh, that was a di that's a dangerous amount of experience to get. Now, this is going to take down whack them all. Yes! Toughed it out! Alright. Come on, bulldoze, pull through. Oh, yeah! We took two injuries in that one. Oh, boy, man. Yes, yeah, sweet, cool, great. Ah. I love Pokemon Refresh. Now that's what Pokemon's all about. The excitement, the thrill, the, the random chance, the fact that we just barely hung in there. Whack-a-mole, I am so proud of you, little guy. Thanks for toughing that out, we needed that. I don't even know what all to say about that. That was just amazing. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy if you can't tell. Now, not to spoil the mood, but one thing I was not happy about was, wait. Max happiness! This calls for a photo. I'm gonna get a photo of whack em all Just one sec here. A nice little scritchy scratch on the, uh, the steel type hairs on your head. Oh, so one thing I'm unhappy about, but not really that unhappy, is that 
I wanted to get up early and do some Pokemon going before this video, so I overslept. Can't do that, but I guess it's okay, because if I wait till later, there's a chance Gen 3 might drop out today, so we don't know. I'm going to keep an eye out. I got my phones charged for uh, recording, so I want to pick up. I want to record all of my Gen 3 encounters as they happen, but let's get back to this. Whoa! S spectacular! With your keen observations, you were able to see, so they'll show you even fine differences in our dances. And you defeated the totem Pokemon with such ease! The totem Pokemon protected this Fire MZ. Now it is yours. I will gladly take that. And I'll take Charizard too. I don't need to Mantine Surf anymore. But I'm probably still going to because I enjoy getting BP. So this should let me go to Pelago as well. Poke Pelago starts going uh, there. Trial is complete. Uh, what an ordeal that was. But man, with the proper strategies and the training that Pokemon pulled through, I love it. This is how you use the fire type Z power. You gotta fan up the flames, do that, come on. Whoosh, whoosh. So I gotta find a good photo for Whack em All. Thank you, my dear Marowak. Marrow whack em all how about that? That's a cool nickname. For when, a, for when you meet a Pokemon that you would like to make your companion, take these quick balls, I think. Yeah, ten quick balls. Could just... I could... I don't know, should I use those? I never usually use anything but the regular Pokeball catch rate things, but it's... Mm, they're good for money, I guess. What's more, my name is the ride Pokemon Charizard. Charizard will lend you his strength, and you will be able to go anywhere you've been in an instant. Thank you, I will take Charizard. The Fire Emz, you should show it, show it to the trial cut. Show the thing. That's right. It is time for us to return to our dance. The feelings of the Alolan people and our Pokemon, and the true nature of Z Power. The answers lie in our dance, and so we must dance on. You do that, I'm leaving. You completed the fire trial. I knew you could do it, Chaz. Let's have them open the captain's barricade and head on to the next adventure. I might want to take things a little bit easy here, Otom. We just finished a pretty overwhelming ordeal. Alright, so the first thing we gotta do, mark Brawler and Prayer for another injury. They're not gone, of course, just yet. We still got some time. So now, I gotta choose who to take an injury away from. So we got uh, three on Turkey, we got four on Brawler. So Brawler has the most right now. So technically... I would have to put Brawler away, because after I complete a trial, I put away a Pokemon with the most number of injuries. What I'm going to do... I don't think Prayer is going to help us in the next trial, so I'm going to actually add the recovery mark for getting a Z-Crystal to Brawler. I'm going to put Prayer in the PC, and i got to get some more encounters. I'll do that in the live stream, because I'm going to have some fun with... Uh, I want to take a photo, for sure, first of all, and then i got to go to Pokepelago and start growing my berries. Seems like your team could yada 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 we know. Actually, the lady out here should heal us up anyway. <sighs> so, this might be a good time. I'm not trying to make you guys, you know, influence your decision or anything, but this could be a good time to add that female Solanda that we picked up, because we now have the Fiery MZ. So we could add that to the team. All right, but let's head on down here. Let's see. Let's hope nothing attacks us on the way. I could. I can just see the Ultra Recon Squad showing up at any point here. So we're going to. Actually, everyone's in a good position there. <sighs> I'm happy that we pulled through that. What am I? Why am I walking down? I have Charizard, right? In fact, yeah. Let's not waste any time. Let's go. Which one do we put you on? I guess the left side or the right side is fine. Let's do that. All right. Time for our first Charizard Glide. Where do we want to go? Let's head... Where do we need encounters? Well, no, I'm not going to get the encounters yet. I did say I want to save those for uh, the live stream. So let's go just to Royal Avenue. Our first Charizard Glide of the video, of the series, of the playthrough here. Not our first of the Alola region, of course. This is our second time here. But it's so cool to have the instant access to everywhere once again. So we're going to head down here to the Pokemon Center, which I could have flown to. Sorry, Machamp, didn't mean to crash at India. Now, again, there were no encounters either here because the nectar for Oracorio is... Where do you find Oracorio on this island? Why am I not opening the door? Why is the door not opening? What's going on? There we go. Right, so we are fully healed up. We will put our currently temporarily injured prayer into the PC in box number two. Poor Sneaky. 
And so we have all these options to add to our team. Like I say, not trying to influence your decision, but we do have a fire type right here, which can evolve because she is female. We've also got a couple of water types we picked up. And you can see all the Pokemon up here. We've got Mankey, Plabebe, Lillipop, Mudbray, we got uh, Feebas, Eevee, Igglybuff, Salandit, Tentacool, and Remoraid. So we can add any one of those, any two of those to the team if you guys like. Leave comments in the comments down below. Who do you want to see added? But you can also hold off on that and see what we capture in the next live stream. Why is my fan on? It's cold. There we go. All right. So let us... Actually, yeah. First things first, before I forget, we're heading back to a uh, the Melee Melee Mele Island. That's the wrong one, Pokemon. I think I usually have Charizard on the top. It makes sense because Charizard flies. I'm going to get a photo. Where are the photos at? Oh, there's a, there's a fly spot right at the photo club. That is pretty cool. Now, I wonder if getting a photo gives you another Roto Lotto. Because he did that when we evolved somebody. Let's just find out. We're going to go for a Whack-A-Mole photo. Can we get a photo on top of the volcano? would be awesome. Oh, why, youngster, those glittering Z crystals you have there. You've been clearing out your trials, right? Congratulations, take these stickers. Oh, water type sticker. Fire type sticker. That's neat. I was also told by a certain well-known figure that I should give these to you, so please, you take these special stickers as well. Hiker stickers. All right. Let's take some photos, yeah come right this way. Now, let's find a decent, awesome background for Whack-A-Mole, toughing out that hit. As soon as I saw the, uh, was it, Flame Wheel brought us down to one, I was like, did it really happen to? And I was like, wait, and then, nope, toughed it out so I wouldn't feel bad. I love it. Alright. Background. There it is. Now, it's not at the top, though. Hang on. Oh, we can't go at the top of the volcano? I mean, you know, it still indicates that we were at the volcano, I guess. So. Yeah, I guess we'll have to go with that one. Let's go with the Pokemon is Whack-A-Mall. And I think it's time to start the photo shoot. So, how can we maneuver the Pokemon properly? I would put you anywhere, just about. And the rotation, I think, is okay. Or, depending on the camera, hang on. Let us... Lower it down. I'm gonna angle it upward. Oh, that's zoom in. Let's go like this. I like how you can see the background here too. And let's aim it more towards the Pokemon. Well in that case, hang on, I might want to move the I wanna move dig it, hang on, just one sec. Let's go with this. And you should actually face the camera. I gotta move you. Hang on. So, like, not facing the camera. Hang on. Let's bear with me here, folks. We gotta get the proper photo and rotate you thusly. Pokemon can hardly move. That's okay, though. All right. Now, what position should we be in? We do the fire and Z. Kind of like that. I could be in behind with the hand out. I did that one for our our block, so. Or we can do this one. Punch, 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 and then boom. Yeah, I kind of like doing that. Let's go with that. I changed the action that I will perform. Awesome. Now I have to rotate myself. I mean, there's no room to turn that way. Get out of here. So let's move our Pokemon out of the way for now. Let's get myself rotated properly. Put you. That's kind of decent. All right, now to see what position we're gonna do. So for me, I'm gonna go punch, 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 punch. There we go. All right, and what actions do you have? Oh, I gotta move you. I can't do any actions. Oh, Pokemon can't move if I do that. Okay, Pokemon can hardly move. That's gonna have to do, so I'm gonna rotate myself slightly. Yeah, all right. Now, what actions do you have? Whoa! Do another one. 
What about your happy poses? Oh, that's pretty nice. What? Oh, that's when you hit it by accident, I guess. Okay, once you do the spin, I'm gonna take photos. What is that? I've never seen that action. You gotta get that spin, I wanna get the happy eyes. Oh, I can get the happy eyes there, I guess. Bear with me, everybody. This is this is important stuff. Oh, I missed this. I never know when the spin's gonna happen is the problem. No. All right, we got some photos. Let's choose a good one. Uh. <laughs> that one looks kind of funny. Half asleep. So we got a couple of happy eyes here. I kind of like the look of this one. Let's save this one. Alright, that is good. So that took up a good chunk of time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our uh, commemorative photo of getting that trial completed. Because I really thought we were going to lose it again. I was like, we're going to have to start over, do more grinding at some point. Can we add stickers? Yeah, let's add a sticker. Let's put the hiker on there. We haven't done stickers on camera in a while. So we're going to dress up. Our Alolan Diggle, that stickers. I can register his favorites too. I guess then it could show off in Festival Plaza, which I haven't gone to yet. I should do that as well. So, what stickers do we have available? We got a little Diglett sticker. Hmm. There's the hiker. What the heck? And we got ribbons. Those are small stickers. Let's see the next size up. That's a cool sun and moon in the bottom there. And no, not none of those. Let's go with. I throw a beware in the background. Hmm. I wonder what this looks like. How do I choose it again? Oh, right there. So I can put an energy flare around our diglets. Why not? Let's say we got powered up. All right. What else can we add for stickers? Punch and kick, got the shield barrier. That's pretty neat. I, this is really cool. I love this. Let's go with trial complete. That's nice. What else can we add? We can add borders, I see. What's this one? It's super effective. Oh, so you just choose a border to put on. Okay. Hopefully we can get more borders along the way, too. Uh, let's go with this. I'm going to say that is good. Stickers have been added. Yes, we're going to save as a copy. We'll save as a copy. Alright, so that spent a lot of time doing that, but we still have a little ways. Also, by the way, I think I figured out how to get rid of the cursor on screen and keep my own computer from going to sleep as I'm recording this. A little sneaky here. Alright, so we are good. Let us continue on to what was the next thing we had to do. Did you, did you get a great shot? Please come again soon. I forget what else we wanted to do, but for the time being, let's move on. And I've also, yeah, got my computer stopped falling asleep on me, which is nice. I'm gonna rearrange the Pokemon right now. I want Charizard on the top. So Tauros will put you to the right. There we go. Now I'm in more sync with what I have in the other game. So we're gonna head back to Kala Island. Something slipped in my mind. Was there anything else I was supposed to do? Probably. But, darn if I remember. Let's head back towards Wella Volcano Park and head up to the next area. Because I believe... I forget when I started recording. I gotta always make note of that. But, uh... About another half hour, I think. We'll be good to go. What's... What's going on here? This is different. You... You've passed Kiawe's trial! Well done! Okay, so that means you can now ride on Charizard. In that case, why didn't I tell you about a great way to play with the Pokemon in your box? Oh, he tells you this before you get up there? Or did he tell you this here before? You ready for this? I forgot this is Mon. Press X to open the X menu, and then tap on Pokepelago to take off, okay? I'll be waiting for you on your Pokemon to visit. That's what I wanted to do. I want to go Pokepelago. Alright, so bear with me, folks, as I check this out. 
Oh, I need to do Pokemon Refresh, I just saw. So let's get this thing on, let's get this thing on the road. Let's get the show on the road. Actually, yeah, I need beans before I can upgrade to the island to grow stuff. Glad to see you again. This is it, Pokepelago. Didn't he wear red in the first game? These uninhabited islands exist solely for the delight of Pokemon. And you remember me? You can call me Mon. I'm in charge of keeping Pokepelago running. And you are Chaz, right? Okay, then let's get things started. The Pokemon that you've deposited into your PC boxes can freely come here to Pokepelago to have a bit of fun whenever they want. Right now, we only have one small isle available for them to play on, but if you help me out, that won't be true for very long. So here's what you need to do first. Would you pick up the Pokebeans that have fallen to the ground around the island? Like this? There we go. Pokemon love Pokebeans! They're delicious and nutritious! And they can also sprout into Pokebean stalks like that one in the middle of the island. The one you just picked up is a plain bean. There are also rare Pokebeans called Pattern Beans and even Rainbow Beans. I love hands-on learning, don't you agree? So why don't you give that Pokebean stalk a good shake and see what happens? Shake the beanstalk to drop some Pokebeans. Pick up the Pokebeans to add to your stores. Okay, now you've got it. See, isn't it better to learn by doing? You can collect Pokebeans once a day or so. Actually, I can do it twice a day in the other game. If no new Pokebeans come tumbling down, then wait a day and try again. Put some of the Pokebeans you collect into the Pokebean crate on the island, would you? Then they'll be happy, sorry, handy, and any hunk You get the idea. Alright, so let's shake down the beanstalk. Gather all these up. I will put some in here, just one sec. Giant floating master hand. Or crazy hand, not gonna judge. Not gonna discriminate. Oh, I see a rainbow bean. What I'm probably gonna do is get Mon to, uh transfer all of my stuff into plain beans for starters, like all the bigger stuff, because he can do that as a little uh, side bonus thing here. I remember back before I understood how this worked, I thought you'd only shake it once per day, and apparently uh, regular viewer Robert Gosney did let me know that I could shake it multiple times in one session to get a whole bunch of beans in, which I'm doing right now, gotta build up our stores. No more need to the cafe and the Pokemon Center anymore, everybody. We got all the beans we could ever want right here. Maybe. I don't know. It might run out eventually. So since we have over 100, I'm going to drop 50 in here. Unless there's a minimum or a maximum I can do right now. Yup, that's a Poke Bean crate right there. You can drop Poke Beans in there, and the Pokemon will love you for it. Especially here on Isle of Beans. Leaving Poke Beans in the crater can even attempt wild, attempt, attempt wild Pokemon to come by for a gander and some fun. Oh yes, one more thing. The rarer kinds of Poke Beans will have their effects last longer. You might want to remember that fact. As long as you fill up the crate, then you'll be probably be okay. Don't you worry. And if you ever want to talk to me about things, no need to feel shy. There's a button right there for my raft hut. Let's push it. Wonderful to see you again. I'm delighted to welcome you to my raft hut. This has been my own private castle ever since that fateful day when I decided to turn these I uninhabited islands into a resort for Pokemon. I built this place myself, and it's not too shabby if I dare say so myself. I have everything I could need here to keep Pokepelago up and running. So, Chaz, I've got a favor to ask of a promising trainer like yourself. Pokepelago only features one small island at the moment, as you've seen. If you, were, if you were to liken it to a Pokemon, it would be a level 1 babe just hatched from its egg. Uh, so I'd like you and your Pokemon to put some effort into developing the islands here. Developing the isles here basically means breaking ground on new isles or improving the facilities on isles you already started on. <sighs> we'll borrow the strength of the Pokemon you have in your boxes to do the work. Oh, and we'll need some plain beans. Don't forget those. No one can well, will it work well on an empty stomach. Okay, that's it for me right now. But come see me on my raft at any time that you want to help. Blah, 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 blah. I'm on here. Keep things running at Pokebelga. All right, so we have our Pokemon sitting here. <coughs> Pardon me. We can put uh, 20 beans. We'll do 20 of our plain beans. For six hours, 40 minutes, we have more, uh, wild Pokemon more likely to appear. Let's keep stocking up our beans. We got Jane, we got Sneaky, there is Toxena, Guard, Shadow, and... What did I name you again? Multiplier. So we have all of our good buddies sitting here. Some of them have been knocked out, injured. Some of them are just sitting there waiting for their chance to shine. Holy beans! It's nowhere near dying out anytime soon. But I gotta grab as many as I want, so I wanna get to that... Uh, what is it? Uh, what is that one called? Isle... Isle of Plenty, I think it is, where you get to harvest your berries. Alright, come on, keep going, keep going. Oh, man. So, between the Photo Club and the Isle of Beans, this episode's filling up with a lot of filler content. But I, mean, I Sometimes you gotta have that. I mean, it's not... I wouldn't say it's filler. We just completed that trial, so that's a pretty big thing in itself. Alright, what do you say? Do you want to do something? Let us develop... Actually, let's exchange Pokebeans first. Pokebeans come in rainbow and... Rain, or, uh, pa pattern and rainbow. And he wants some of them himself. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Blah, blah, we know with all this. Come on, I gotta exchange. That's all you need to know. I'll give you three plain beans for each pattern bean, and seven plain beans for each rainbow bean. Let's do a trade. I want to basically give him all of them. 
We'll do that for now. Until we get the islands developed, I'm going to keep giving him all those special beans and uh, wait till after that to max out the islands. So you'll help me. Thank you, thank you. And now that we have that settled, okay, then there are five isles total that you can develop here at Pokepelago. Each one will require you to have a different number of Pokemon in your boxes and plain beans in your coffers. Check what it says. Check what it says that you need to develop each isle in its summary, okay? Okay, then, if that's all clear, you just tell me which isle you'd like to develop next. So I need 15. I've got 16 Pokemon. I've got enough for the uh, the Isle of Plenty. Let's do that. Definitely. So we can start growing berries here on the Isle. The Isle of Plenty renovations are complete. Okay, what do you think? This is Isle of Plenty. I used that nice flat bit of land there to make a field where you can plant your berries. Now you and your Pokemon can enjoy tending to berry trees and harvesting berries here. That's right. If you want to plant some berries, tap the sign and let me know. Your Pokemon will be pretty happy. Keep up the good work. So what I'm going to do, I want to also develop another Isle. I can't, I can do that, I can upgrade that. I uh, can't do that yet, I need more Pokemon. Yeah, I need me more Pokemon for later on. So I want to develop this island since I have the Pokemon and beans needed to get more wild Pokemon showing up. Because with a Nuzlocke, I can only capture a certain number of Pokemon as I go along. But if I get more wild ones showing up, then I've got a better chance to add more Pokemon to the collection, thereby improving my chance to improve my islands. Alright, the Poke Beanstalk has gotten larger, so you can probably get more Poke Beans from it now. I bet more wild Pokemon will come by, enticed by its offerings. The Pokemon will look all quite eager. Keep up the hard work. So there's no new ones to shake out just yet. We'll leave things as they are for the time being, but let's go ahead and plant us some berries. So which one do we want? I've got anything that I have a single berry of I'm going to give priority to first. And we've got space for two more. We're going to go for Citrus and Chesto. And let's... so 24 hours. We can put up to 20 beans, so that's 6 hours, 40 minutes. Alright, that is good. It's going to double the speed that these berries grow at. So that's all we can do in Pokepelago for the time being. I'm glad to say that I've got some advancements going on here. We've got a Pokemon refresh somebody. There's so much stopping me from going story mode. What do you say there, turkey? I'm sorry you didn't get a chance to go for your, uh, your Hydro Vortex. Maybe next time, bud. At least you get to show it. We didn't get the full power off, unfortunately. Look at all these beans now. Awesome. They eat up. If the uh, Pokemon Refresh is shaking like that, it means that they are starving. So you can take three full beans like most Pokemon do. Now, if I wanted to, if I was smart, but it's not smarts that has to do this. If I wanted to, I could have saved some of the rainbows and pattern beans for this. But I don't mind taking my time with Pokemon Refresh. If you give a Pokemon, I think, two or three rainbow beans, it maxes out their affection with you immediately. But I like taking my time. I'm a patient kind of guy. Letting things develop as they develop naturally. Does anyone else need any refresh? I should have checked. Here's a way I can check, though. Check this out. I'm gonna close the menu, open it again. No shaking. Alright. We can finally advance onward and get onto the next part of our adventure, our island challenge. Oh, that's Fire Room Z! Congratulations on clearing Kiawe's trial! I mean, Kiawe! In that case. Let's move that barricade and check out the Dividing Peak Tunnel. Which I think is what it's called. Here you go, you're free to pass. Captain Mallow's trial is up ahead. Go along Route 8 and you'll find it. Lush Jungle. It's a bit dark and spooky, but we need to go through the tunnel. So it's like... I'm not sure who's going to be effective in this next trial. Robin Hoop, probably for sure. Um... So, my hesitation here is because this was not walkable in the first game. The music was not creepy because there was no music. Once you walked through the tunnel, you were on the other side. No? Okay. I see some figures. Who do we have in the lead? We see the Ultra Recon Squad. I had a feeling they were going to be showing up. Just something told me. Yeah. Right, what's going on, guys? Dulce and Zossi. That is who that is, right? Yep. Wow, the aura readings are going crazy. Hey, Chaz! Alola. Interesting. So this is what you call a tunnel. I would like to investigate it further if we only had the time to do so. You don't have tunnels where you're from? Greetings, Chaz. It seems your island challenge is going well. It appears that my guess was correct. Battling the totem Pokemon, which are wrapped in aura, is having an effect on you as well. Really? 
And those Z moves also envelop your ally Pokemon and Aura, do they not? They do. Are you able to fully control Aura then? I'm not Ash Ketchum, no. Not really. I don't think. I don't know what you mean by full control, so I shouldn't say yes, right? Do you mean like Aura like a Kamehameha? No. I suppose it does not matter to us either way. But once, long, long ago, our world was also awash in wondrous light, like the light of those Xenus that you can use. Dulce, it's about time for our meeting! Yes. We'll be getting the aid of a scientist who is well educated in the ways of Pokémon. We will need his help to find ways we might use our technology to achieve our goals. Bye! So is there more control over Aura than just the Z-moves? Nah, I don't know! But we'll find out eventually. Maybe. Hopefully. Probably. So here on Route 8, which is a new encounter, I might hold off on that though, because I want you guys to get it, or I want you guys with me when I get it. Congratulations, wait, if you let your Pokemon evolve, they grow stronger by the time before they learn new moves, will also change quite a bit. If you hope to complete the island challenge, think well on your partner's strengths. Route 8, see the sea and no true joy. So this is another spot I could get a fishing encounter, guys. Keep that in mind for when we do our live stream later on. Alright, so what are you guys up to? Ah, Daddy! I want to know more about Passimian! Oh, oh, what shall I do? Is there someone with Passimian? Would you like to show them your Pokemon? Not at all. We don't have Passimian. Alright, enough of that. What's going on here? Is this still the Aether Foundation? Looks like it is. What have they got hurt over there? What is that? Is that a Remoraid? Don't hurt Remoraid! Not you guys, I mean whoever did that. Why, hello, trainer. Looks like you've got a Pokedex on you. How would you like to do a little part-time work on behalf of the Aether Foundation? Sure. We at the Aether Foundation work to protect Pokemon for conservation. Right now, we are sur surveying the Gumi that live in Lush Jungle. Gumi is here. Cool. The Foundation is collecting its own data, of course, but we'd also like to know what data the Pokedex records about them. So your job, if you should choose to accept it, would be to register Gumi in your Pokedex and show us the data. We will pay you for the work, of course. I hope you'll help us out. So, we gotta check out and see if we can get a Gumi on the team. Dragon type would be nice. Oh, it's a Vulpix! That's... I was gonna say, that's even sadder, but no, I like Remory. That's... it's all sad. Is that the Vulpix from Paniola Town? You see this Vulpix? It was bullied by Team Skull, and now it's scared of people. Poor little thing. Oh. Whoa! Vulpix is twitching his nose as if it's trying to smell you. Oh, that's the first time I've seen it go up... go up to someone on its own like that. Maybe it senses something special about you. Vulpix seems to calm down when you're around, too. Do you think you'd come visit us from time to time? Yes, for sure. Poor little Vulpix. Oh, thank you! Did you hear that, Vulpix? This trainer's gonna help you out. Vulpix is shaking slightly. Alright, Vulpix, let's eat something. You haven't eaten a decent meal in a long time. I've got some Rage candy bars. How about we share a big Malasada together? I think Vulpix trusts you enough that you can try to get to try Malasada. Yes! I'm not using them myself, so sure. Gave the big Malasada to Vulpix. Whoa! Began eating the Malasada little by little. We did it! It's eating the Malasada! This is thanks to you! Woo! Think you can come back and visit Vulpix tomorrow or whenever you have time? Yeah, definitely. Poor little Vulpix. Team Skulls is jerks. Poor little thing. Oh, there's Pokemon in here. I see Stuffle. There's a Lola Meowth. Hi, guys. Why are they caged up? Okay, so I guess that's all we can do for here. Can I take one of my starting Pokemon? Nope. Okay, then. So, if we can find Gumi, we can come back here and get some cash. Maybe an item. I don't know. But the poor Vulpix. My cord is caught. There we go. So, do we get to see Colrus here again like we did last time? I see a sticker. So, that is who they're meeting. I had a feeling they said they're meeting a scientist. And I'm like, Colrus is showing up. Or at least did back in Moon. Mm -hmm. And off they go. They have an interesting way of saying bye. I like that little square wave. Hello, Colorus. You there. Who are you tapping on? Is that the power glove? Oh, excuse me. I'm a scientist. My name is Colorus. The theme of my research is bringing out the potential of Pokemon. What brings out the power of Pokemon is... I believe that is the bond they share with their trainers. And thus my attention is drawn to trainers like yourself. Trainers bound to their Pokemon through the power of a Z-Ring. A Z-Power Ring, I should say. I don't know if I want to give that guy this, this voice. I could go with, uh... 
I kind of feel like a Dr. Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park, which I gotta add a bunch of, you know, ah, uh, ah, uh, well, ah, uh, yes, but, ah, uh, but that would get annoying, so let's just go with what I gave him. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Chaz, is it? I don't remember your name. Why are you always tapping? What kind of a code is that for your power glove? What game are you playing? To commemorate our encounter, let me give you a TM. That's going to be good in the next trial. Plus, I did just get the Fire Room Z. I don't know if anyone here can learn it, though. If you're able to utilize Flame Charge fully, you'll have to be able to have a little bit of great battle with the Totem in the next trial, in the trial in Lush Jungle. Z Power. Is it the true potential that I seek? Does it surpass the Mega Ring? Mega Ring? What are you speaking of? This is ancient technology from where we're sitting. Apparently, there are uninhabited islands for Pokemon called Pokepelago here in Alola. Alola is fascinating. I believe that I will stay in Alola for some time. Well then, Chaz, I hope you'll excuse me. I have had quite the curious request made to me by a couple of the most oddly dressed strangers. So our next is a third trial. It's going to be in the Lush Jungle, right? Okay, Fire-type Pokemon ready. Rotom, keep drilling that into the viewers' heads. Let them know we need fire Pokemon. We've got a photo spot here. What can we find? We should be able to get level 3 as well. So what are we looking at? A young goose. Pop your head out. Where you at? Watch this. Spidey reflexes. Or not? Do I only have like a brief moment to catch this one? Huh. It's not looking good. Let's back out. I want to try that again. I've never known a Pokemon to run that quick. Yes, that's the best one we can get. I could try for another one, of course, but... Eh, whatever. So, that's a good angle. Looking good, I knew it, you're a pro. I didn't know there was a place like that in Alola. We're full of pep this afternoon. Yeah, what is this bridge? Or no, is this under the, uh... It's under the trailer. That's what this is, okay. I guess it's good enough for an amateur. I think that puts us up to... Yep! Level 3 Pokefinder. So, although not a lot of story stuff is happening in this episode, a lot of things are happening. Congratulations are in order, kiddo! You have 10,000 thumbs up! That means you get version 3! What does this one let us do? You can finally zoom in on things even more than you could before! I don't... Eh, I'll save it, I guess. I was gonna say, I don't want to save this bad photo, but I'm saving all the other photos. Why the heck not? So, we can get ourselves a sticker. Again, I don't know how many I need to get the next totem Pokemon. Uh-oh, don't encounter! I want to save the encounter for when we're doing a on-camera live stream. Which, I, I still don't know. I'm going to go for maybe another five minutes here. I think we'll put us to the proper time. But let's do a trainer battle. Or not. <laughs> you there. In battle, the sky's the limit. Are you ready to send your opponent into the atmosphere? What do you say? Might you be interested in the move Sky Draw? If you are, beat every other trainer on Route 8 and we can talk. Sky Drop. I wonder if my Dartrix could learn that. Can we avoid the grass? Yes, we can. I think there's a trainer down here itching for battle item at least. Sneak up. Sneak attack. I was losing constantly, so I'm on a trip to find myself. Well, you found yourself. You're right here. Or do you mean metaphorically? Spiritually? Physically? Because physically, again, you're right here. Alright, Kiana with an Eevee. And we're going to send in our turkey bird. Get in there, our side up. I'm tempted to use the uh, Hydro Vortex at full power right now because we didn't get to do it on the totem button. Nah, I can't do that to poor little Eevee. Let's just go with... Well, we can do this, though. <laughs> but great. So I wonder if anyone learned Flame Charge. I doubt it. Oh, that didn't even knock you out. Okay. I feel okay with using that now. Now I'm going to go for a nice little light tack of... Let's not even use the stab move. Let's just do Confusion. Let's just bring on the Eevee. Get some experience for our... What? How? I mean, sh all right, sure. But anyways, I should have used Hydro Vortex then, just to be like, you're gonna survive? Not hardly. And level up, perhaps? Yep, level 25 for our turkey. Wants to learn Zen Headbutt. So, let's see what your stats are like. Physical is slightly more powerful. Now, Zen Headbutt is only uh, 95 accurate. 90. It has 80. 
And if we're quicker, it might make them flinch. I don't think we're ever going to be quicker. I mean, I don't know, your stats are pretty well rounded, I guess. Speed is your slowest, or your lowest stat, though. Let's replace confusion. I don't know. Confusion can get the confusion effect, but no, you know what? Let's go with the more powers, and headbutt is the way to go. And there we go. So we can get the turkey bird into the active spot. I think about why I lost, but I don't dwell on it. Good stuff. So we're gonna grab that item. I think we're just gonna end off the episode there because enough stuff has happened. Has happened. We have many encounters to get on the live stream, which is coming up at about five o'clock or so, maybe closer to six later on tonight. So stay tuned for that. Again, that's Atlantic time. Even if you dwell on your losses, tomorrow is a new day. End things off with a big pearl, which is some good cash in our pocket. But we're gonna call it a day, as I said, for today, or at least till later on. So I want to say thanks for watching today's episode. I just looked back. Was that upside down? No, it's right. It's good. Anyway, thanks for watching today's episode, folks. If you want to see some more episodes of Pokemon Ultra Sun, you can check out the channel. I still haven't done a playlist yet, but I have time today. Maybe I'll do that. But nothing more needs to be said. Come on back in a few hours' time for an Ultra Sun live stream as we do a bunch of encounters and then continue the adventure as well. So thanks again for watching. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I'll catch you next time.